This video will overview how to customize the basic layout of your Brightspace homepage. The Brightspace homepage is that first place that students land when they click on your course. The other important thing to understand is sort of the terminology that's used by D2L for this, uh, this area. There are two main areas of the course page, uh, course homepage. There's the nav bar, which is essentially this white strip right here. Okay, so this one's called the nav bar, and these are nav, uh, nav bar icons. And then there's what they call the homepage, which is essentially this banner all the way down. And as part of the homepage, you have what's called widgets, and that's these uh, boxes right here. And widgets, they can be moved around, they can be customized, they can be resized. Um, so this video will show you how to kind of edit and move those things around. So to start, let's edit our nav bar. By default, this is the, um, the, the default uh, nav bar that comes with all Grand Erie Brightspace pages. Okay. It could change around uh, over time as we add and change things, so it could be different from this video. And you'll notice a little down arrow right here. We can click that and that expands just in, if there are um, uh, additional icons uh, put into the nav bar, you'll see them there. It will depend on the screen. So if I was you know, on a widescreen uh, um, uh, laptop or a widescreen uh, monitor, it actually might display the entire nav bar just based on the size of my screen. But just on the computer I'm on right now, it's a small enough screen that I need to press that down arrow to see the rest that's in the nav bar. So just be aware of that. So to edit this nav bar, what I'm going to do is go up. As soon as you uh, basically you hover over the nav bar, these three dots show up. So you're going to click on this uh, action uh, button and go to customize this nav bar. Now immediately you're going to be asked, do you want to create a copy of it? You do um, because you're unable to edit, obviously, the, the template itself for all of Grand Deary. So you're making a copy within this shell so that you can edit it and move things around. So yes. Okay, so this is the uh, editor right here. So what you can do uh, is a few things uh, within the editor. First and foremost, you can delete icons um, that you might not have use for. So I'm teaching, let's say, a grade nine applied English class. And in this instance, I've decided I'm not gonna use portfolio. I'm gonna use assignments for this class. I'm gonna get rid of the portfolio by just hovering over it and clicking the X. Let's also assume I'm not using class one note. So again, I'm gonna hover over it hit the X, okay? You can also move icons within uh, and how they display and what order they display in. So let's say I know I'm gonna be using Office 365 a lot for like Word Online, that type of thing. I'm gonna right click and hold, okay? Or on my mouse pad, I'm gonna click and hold, and then I'm just gonna move it, okay? So I'm still uh, holding down the mouse or the mouse pad. And let's say I wanna put it right beside content. I want it front and center. And uh, yeah, it's been moved. In general, the second row is usually the icons that are uh, gonna, going to be hidden where you have to kind of press that down arrow. Again, it will depend on what screen uh, the students are using um, to be able to display it. Um, one important piece to uh, mention, please do not delete the edit course icon. Uh, it's not possible to get it back generally um, or it's a, it's a harder piece to do so it's it's important for you to keep that and uh, also know that students cannot see the edit course snap bar icon that's specific to you the other two things that you can do is you can actually add icons so if you press add links you can create your own custom link uh, that will be in a separate video where i show how to do that but you can add existing uh, links that we've made for you so let's say I'm, you know, I'm going to use, I want some cross-curricular pieces, I want to start talking about careers, and I actually want to use something I know I've, I've heard about, uh, which is Edge Factor. You could go down, it is in uh, alphabetical order, or you can also just search. There's my Edge Factor, Edge Factor icon. I click the box, press add, and it will just add it to my nav bar uh, list. Okay. And uh, the last piece that I wanted to mention was this right here. If you want, you can get rid of the uh, icons. Sometimes we hear that the nav bar is large and if you don't want it to take that much real estate up of your page, you can essentially unclick that and it will make it so that they're just words. So I'm gonna save and close and show you that on the main page. 
Okay, so see how it's just the uh, words instead of the large icons. In general, I think it is good practice to um, to have the icons as it helps uh, students who are visually impaired. Um, and so we're going to click that, or save and close, and you've now edited your nav bar. So the other piece is, let's say you want to move a few things around in the uh, uh, the course homepage. All right. What you need to do is you go up to edit course. You're going to go down to the home pages tool. And you're going to be editing that home page. And that's that's essentially uh, what's below the banner. Now, in order to edit it, it's just like the nav bar. It won't let you edit the template. <clears throat> You know you're using uh, the template because it's got that little blue button here and it says default. Okay, this is the one we know we're, we're using. So you're going to right click here. And if you were, I should mention, sorry, if you are um, an elementary teacher using this, you actually will have that uh, shown for the junior or the kindergarten, depends on your division. So it could be slightly different. In this case, I'm using intermediate senior um, uh, homepage. So right click right beside the name of it, copy it. And that's it. Now we've made a copy so that we can actually edit it and we can move around our homepage. In order to edit, just hover over the blue, click, and we go into the homepage editor. Now for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to show essentially how to move things around. So let's say you really use your calendar a lot in the class and you want your calendar to, to really be something that is something the students look at quite often and that you know they're building those time management pieces. And it's kind of a small piece right now. You can actually right click, grab it, and pull it over to the larger container, unclick, and now the calendar will be a much bigger piece. By default, there are two main, I call them containers. There's the larger one, which takes about uh, up about two thirds of the page. So I'll show that just on our main page. So there. So this is our main, you know, kind of two thirds. Notice how it's way bigger than the smaller container. So you can, by moving the widgets over, it will change it. Now I haven't made the change yet, so the calendar is still really small. And I'll, I'll show how that changed uh, in a minute. So uh, I've moved my calendar over and you can also add widgets if you like. So like, let's say I click on add widget. And if you've watched one of my other videos and you've made an educator info widget, you could click there, press add. And again, I right click and move it up to the top. This is one that isn't edited. So you won't see uh, like a fully edited version, but just to show you as an example. So there's a few other widgets you can add, move things around. Let's say I, um, I'm i not going to use the announcements. I'm going to use specifically activity feed. Um, there is a, um, a way to, to use both, but let's just say in this instance with the uh, ENG 1P, I really just want to keep it um, so that they have one place they have to look for it. I can exit, press the X, and it gets rid of it. Okay, so there I've edited it all. Um, and that's basically the major way to, to, to kind of move those things around. I'm going to press save and close. And there's one last step to, to make this active. Right now, right here, it says the active home page is the, uh, uh, the senior, this one right here. So I'm going to activate the copy that we just made, press apply. And now when I go back to the main page, just by clicking on the text up here, you can see it uh, now includes the full edit. So my calendar is much larger. It's no longer that small one over here. The announcements widget is gone. Um, and then I also still have my educator widget. Again, it's not one that I've edited. That's uh, something I covered in another video, but just to show you. Um, and uh, the last piece I'm going to show you for customizing your homepage, simple one, the banner. It's a great thing that you can change up, you know, daily or or once a week or based on themes within Grand Erie's um, uh, top, you know, the landing page for you. This is something we often change up as we can, as much as we can. It just kind of draws your eyes and shows you that the site is something that's being updated constantly. And the way to do that is you go up, kind of hover, click on the three dots and you can change the image. Generally, I would say you got to choose the images that are within the Brightspace uh, environment. It's actually quite hard to get images in outside from outside of uh, the uh, uh, D2L. So let's just say it's fall. 
got a great set of images. Um, so let's say I'm going to pick these leaves, use image, it will auto fit it and put it in for you. The last piece is, let's say you don't want this to say grade nine applied. It often just copies what's right up here. You can right click, customize banner text, and you can create your own custom banner. So I might say, welcome to grade nine English. And the one little trick I'll end with is if you use the special brackets right here and you type in first name and close those brackets, it is important that you use um, those brackets right here, not like these ones, okay? First name, no, no spaces or anything like that. What it will do is that's called a um, string, a string line. I press save, it will actually check who's logged in and put their name in. So again, it's just a really nice custom way to, to welcome your students into the class. Okay, and that's the major overall basics of how to customize the navbar and uh, homepage.